one of the leading voices on the college education in Congress is Congressman Shaka Patel of Pennsylvania, and he joins me right now. And Congressman, uh, this is a huge issue. You hear it from parents, obviously, uh, in your district uh, in Pennsylvania as well. Uh, what really, you know, what more can be done? Because student debt right now is a trillion dollars, and parents are saying, "Look, we're losing jobs. You see, with the economy, the jobs are not there. But without a college degree, you can forget having a high-paying job." Well, look. You should be convening this summer because you got the right players this morning. I mean, what, what you've heard already is that we have to find ways to make, put first of all, more grants, not just loans in these packages. We know from the research, African-American students, poor students, the more there are loans in the package, uh, the more it threatens their ability to persist through the graduation. So you have a group of schools now where they're moving to grants only, scholarships only, and trying to move the loans out. But where young people need to borrow, or families need to borrow, we have guaranteed federal taxpayer-backed loans that are direct from the federal government. And when that's not enough, because we have some young people who go to colleges in which the costs are higher, the Parent PLUS loan needs to be there, and, and Leslie's absolutely correct on that. But what the president's doing today is he's bringing uh, all of these higher education officials together in about 40 of our nation's leading nonprofits and foundations and trying to lay out a plan to go forward. We've already made significant increases in the Pell Grant. Mm -hmm. we've, we've taken out the middleman and the student loan business and provided over $60 billion of more aid for young people. And over this president's first five years, we've added another five million poor students to the college mix. But getting them in the door and getting them to finish and graduate is the real challenge. One of the things that will be discussed today is to try to set up a package so you know what your costs are for the entire four years. Yeah, because but look, when things all of a sudden change and they shift, uh, you have to deal with it. Look, when I went to college, my brother was already there, my sister was behind me, so my parents had three kids who were in college at one time, and so it, it made it easier going to a state university. Uh, when you talk about uh, what's happening with community colleges as well, uh, one of the things that I also notice is that the scholarships that are out there, Congressman, most of them are for four-year schools. They're not for two-year schools. And the majority of our kids are starting in two-year schools. And the you know, Community College of Philadelphia has got more African-American students, more uh, Latino students than any university in the state. And they're starting there, and then they need to be able to articulate or matriculate into a four-year college. And we need to have support for them in both of those situations, both in the two-year and in the four-year. What I understand is when you look at your Republican colleagues, even some of some of your blue dog Democrats uh, who talk about, well, look, well, we can't do as much. The numbers don't lie. Uh, you, how can individuals talk about uh, continuing to fund at a higher levels of national defense to the degree that we're funding it, but then say we don't want to put more resources to education? We don't become a superpower unless we have super smart people. Here's the deal. China's going to graduate 280 million college graduates. We have 300 million people in our whole country. If we want to be number one in the world, we have to produce, as the president said, we have to be number one in college-educated adults. For those who with a college degree and are over 25 in our country, unemployment rates 3 percent. I mean, it's, it's uh, essentially for an economic model, full employment. What we need to do is get more of our young people through this door and um, to finish college, in the school and to finish. And that's what the president's summit is about today.